tucked away in a little muse-like street in downtown Los Angeles is a wonderful shop. It's called Rose Tarlow Milrose House. And Rose Tarlow is very well known in the field of interior design and decorating. Every decision I make is a sort of a quality of life decision where I think, is this something that I love and will enjoy all the time? And I think that's my design philosophy, is that I really have to love everything that I have. Large scale, small scale, it really doesn't matter. It's really proportion. I think each piece has to be considered in scale. Our homes are too important to us. It's a refuge from the world, and it's very important to feel that way about your house. She is a furniture designer, a fabric designer, and now an author with a wonderful new book called The Private House. Rose Tarlow, I'm very happy to oh, nice. be here in your shop. How long have you been here? Since 1976, and I uh, had only antiques at that time, and then about seven or eight years later, I started designing and manufacturing my own furniture. So most of the things that are in this room are objects of your own design? Yes. There are a few thing, antiques thrown in with it, but most of the things are things that we design here in Los Angeles. And it's really nice because you don't know. When you look at things, you would just swear that some of these things are absolutely the finest antiques. And it's not that you're trying to pull the wool over anyone's eyes, but you're really trying to make furniture that's functional and useful and available. Well, most of the pieces here are emulate antiques. Not all of them are authentic designs. Right. They're things that would be made in a certain period and look like they were made in that period, but have my own little twist to them. Right. And then there's others that are exactly the way now, they would have been. Are things made here in the United States or all over the world? We make everything here in Los Angeles. Oh, in you our do? Own. Yes, oh. everything is made here. The f some of the fabrics come from all over the world, but some of them we make here, but the furniture is all made here. Uh, you're known for your fabrics, too. And your, and your wonderful selection of fabrics. On this table, Rose has put a whole lot of different examples of textures and colors and things that go together. And oh, I love this leather with all of these things. Well, explain to us. Every single texture changes the color. The light reflects it a different way, so that even if you were using the same color throughout, if you use different textures of that color, then it works together. So here we have a chintz that I designed, my own design, and it oh, this emulates looks, this an old chintz. And what oh, we, isn't that pretty? So it's beautiful, and it does look like an antique. Yeah. Well, the thing about this is that I have markings in it that would look like it was an old piece. And then we faded it, the colors in and out, so they're not so strong. And then these are, this is a different texture still that goes with that, and it's picks up. And what up. is this, linen? This is linen. Oh, it's so beautiful. You get different tactile feelings and images from the fabrics. And then this is another fabric completely that's a taffeta. So it gives you another tactile feeling of, in the room of something else. And it's, if you look closely, it's all woven. woven. You can see oh, the uh, threads. Yes. It's not just printed. So you're adding all different it's wonderful. textures and qualities into the room, not just one feeling. So this would be nice for a window. Yeah, it's nice for sheer window yeah. curtains or Gorgeous. something simple, especially nice if you don't. Nice for a dress. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice for a summer dress. And then you have all kinds of finishes on furniture. What about this, now this chest? This, this is, is one of the first pieces I've made. And this is called the Dutch commode, and it's in walnut. Mm. And you can see all the, we never over antique anything. That's the trick of making things look really old. A fruit wood or a wood like um, walnut does have wormholes and certain things. So you have to take your clue from the wood, and you know it would be worn certain ways, and a harder wood wouldn't be worn as much. So we really. Pay attention to those really important details. And then crackle details. finishes. This crackle, chair that's a, has yeah. the wonderful, is that like a water base that would crackle? Yes, a water base. Well, you know how they make a crackle, actually? It's very interesting. It's a glue first, and the glue with the heat crackles a certain way, and then you keep putting on different layers and layers, and then we wear it so the wood shows through a little. And then this table looks like ivory. This is a faux ivory finish. And it's not meant to look perfect. It's meant to look like 18th century or 19th century furniture where it the eye wasn't supposed to be fooled. You should know that it's not real. And I love this piece that was inspired by these library steps. You can put all kinds of things Books on and here. Things. And then the table really has a wonderful proportion. Everything here is really wonderful. And the glazed linen on the settee, the two pillows like this it looks so pretty. And I like that they're not done like that. Yeah. No, I know. <laughs> Rose not only designs fabric, she designs wonderful watercolors for your wall that are framed and very decorative. 
And when you go to your bookstore, please look for a very lovely book called The Private House, Rose Tarlow. Thanks, Rose. Thank you so much. All next week on Martha Stewart Living, Monday.